Hello everyone. Uh, hope you're all having fun. Um, first I want to say thanks to Mary for giving me the chance to do this for you all today. Um, and then thank you to all of you for uh, making Desiree feel so welcome and uh, greatly appreciated. It. It's, uh, it's very awesome for her to be so accepted like this. And I miss all of you. Wish I could be there to see you, but we will see each other soon. Um, I'm here to answer a few questions today, um, and give me just a moment, as soon as I find them, I'll get to it. Um, first question, how did we meet? Um, we met um, at the local community college in Grand Rapids called Itasca Community College, um, and she was in the library with a few of her friends sitting at the computers, and I was with another guy who happened to know them so we went and we sat back by them and I was kind of doing my own thing while he was do talking to them and um, somebody made a comment and <laughs> I made a stupid joke like I'm kind of famous for and I remember Desiree making her uh, <laughs> I don't know I would call it bratty comment that she's famous for but <laughs> Needless to say, um, that's not where we hit it off. A um, couple weeks later, maybe not even that long, um, we were all out at a college event, and she uh, ended up needing a ride home. And uh, her idea of me changed after that a little bit, and I gave her the ride home, and asked for her number and she gave it to me said I could call her so it got it got better from the library <laughs> second question was uh, what is my favorite memory memory with her and I thought thought a lot about this one because we've done a lot of things together we've you know done a boundary waters camping trip for a week and we uh, traveled car trip to Chicago and made countless trips back and forth to the cities um, but probably one of my first memories and wonderful memories was uh, when we were both living at home um, we didn't ever really have seclusion to hang out so uh, I decided one day that we were gonna go on a drive up Highway 38 um, most of you probably don't know that but know the highway but it's it's a really curvy highway and windy and really pretty scenery with lots of lakes and things and so we just went for a drive and um, Desiree would say we've probably say we still never had a real conversation but I think that was our first real conversation um, <laughs> we, we we did a lot of talking and it was it was a wonderful car ride um, so that's one of the, one of my favorite memories with her um, third question, where was our first date and what did we do? <laughs> um, when I first started, uh, trying to get Desiree to go out with me, um, she was, you know, not looking for a relationship. <laughs> and, uh, I w had promised to her that we were just going to be hanging out and so we did go to a movie just us two that night and after I finally convinced her to go on a date with me at all uh, we went out on the move uh, out to a movie and after the movie we walked over to Target because they're close together and we were just kind of shopping around trying to you know just hang out a little bit longer and um, one of my buddies, Jace, ended up showing up, <laughs> and I, it was kind of a ploy by me, um, so that we could hang out with friends, and she would keep hanging out with me, and Jace was there, and we decided to go have a bonfire behind the house, and had a few other friends over, and they all left after a few hours, and by golly, Desiree was still there. And so my plan worked for our first date. I ended up making her hang out with me a lot longer than she 
she thought she would at first, so. And what? when did I first know she was the one? Um, well, as my mom would tell you, I'm a, kind of a romantic. And so I have to kind of guard myself before I would uh, get too serious in a relationship. But um, it slowly happened over time. And so it, it was more of a less of a realization for me. So I will tell you when I finally decided to see if I was her one. And um, <laughs> it was about a little bit more than a year ago. And um, I had made a trip down to see her. And every we, for those of you that don't know, we were living... Uh, I was living in Grand Rapids, and she was living um, in the Twin Cities. So we were doing a lot of traveling, and I had spent the weekend with her down there. And when I left, I just I didn't want to be doing this anymore. And so I um, started shopping for rings. We had... Um, I found the ring that was perfect, got it, and then about two months from when I th made that trip home, I popped the question, and she said yes, so here we are today. <laughs> what was... Next question. What was uh, my most embarrassing moment, and what did I learn from it? Well, as you'll find out, uh, Desiree has a big family, and bigger than ours. Um, <laughs> so, she, when we first started dating, we would end up in situations where she would have to introduce me, and she's, at least I will say was, really, really bad at introducing me to people. <laughs> I don't know if she, if she was embarrassed or if she just didn't think about it. I like to think she just didn't think about it. But, <laughs> and so, one of these times, I forget, it might have been, like, her little brother's first birthday or something. Anyway, her mom had a bunch of family and things over at their family, over at their house for this event. And we were one of the first ones there, and then um, her aunt and uncle show up. And I'd never met her uncle before I met her aunt. But I'd never met her uncle before, and she goes to introduce me, and she realizes she forgot his name. She just couldn't think of it. I, I, I don't know. Like I said, big family. Um, and so she runs off and leaves me standing there with this guy. And we are kind of, you know, awkwardly looking at each other, like, so... <laughs> and then she comes back and finds out that his name's Tim and tell and introduces us after we'd already introduced each other, but she introduces us again. And I guess what I learned from this experience is not to let her introduce me, just do my own introductions. So I've started doing that. <laughs> ah, right. So next question. What is my idea of what happens at a bridal shower? Well, you guys give presents. Uh, fill up our kitchen and house with awesome things. Um, you pl play games like this one. Um, and you eat a lot of food. And then you start telling the bride all the secrets to marriage and everything she needs to know to... <laughs> to make it work, or as uh, some might call it, man training. <laughs> oh. But no, I think you guys have a lot of fun, and like I said, I appreciate you doing this for her. Um, so, next question is, what are, the final question is, 
what are our what are my goals for me and Desiree? Um, <laughs> we've talked a little bit about this. Uh, a short term, um, we are getting our our lives set. Uh, eventually, we would like to purchase a house um, and you know start. You know, start our careers off, and we'd like to do some traveling um, if we find the time and the money. But um, long term, we would, I would like to have a family and grow old with Desiree. Uh, you know, that's kind of what it's all about. I don't, I don't have any specific things that I want to exactly do. I want to see the world with her um, and grow old. Maybe have a, maybe have a few kids. A couple. Boys. <laughs> uh, or girl. But, yeah. Those are, that's kind of the goal, I think, is, you know, figuring it out. That's all the questions, so thank you for listening to me, um, hope you en enjoyed it, and have a wonderful rest of your time, and I miss all of you, love you all, wish I could see you, but I will see you soon. Thanks.